We're here in House of Hope, uh, Manila, and um, this is the place where we shelter and where we take care of children uh, permanently that are under our care. And I'd like to uh, take you a little bit around and show you what we're doing so you get a little feeling for uh, the work that we do out here in our House of Hope. Um, I'll just take you a little bit around in the back. The kids are right now, uh, I think, playing in the back. Um, there are a lot of people around that are volunteers or, or staff that work with us. And uh, right now we're still fixing a little bit our surroundings. Um, we always keep on building things and fixing things up. And uh, So right here, when you come to the back part of uh, uh, our place, we have a little, little uh, uh, porch at the back. We have our kitchen uh, here to the right. And um, uh, of course, you know the place where we uh, hang out uh, whenever there's beautiful weather like today, although the kids are inside because it's pretty hot today. Um, uh, here are some facilities that we use for our kitchen and for our staff that uh, work with us as well. Um, maybe you can just say hi to the people in the kitchen. Um, you guys say hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll just go inside a little bit and see if we can find some of the kids playing. We have a lot of visitors right now. Um, we have a lot of volunteers that come uh, throughout the year that spend a couple weeks with us or sometimes a couple months and so they're being hanging around the house uh, quite often and playing with the children or we're going out with the kids so we're quite happy actually to have a lot of volunteers uh, that help us in uh, the ministry. Um, that's basically our first floor where we eat together. We try to make it a very homey place like a family. Uh, we eat together here, we kind of play together, live together and uh, that's um, our little playroom right now. We have various ages. Uh, we have a lot of babies. They're sleeping right now. And, and a little bit larger kids, uh, generally from zero to five. Uh, that's the, the, the age bracket with uh, kids that we work. That's Jane, for example, one of our staff. Um, beautiful children. In fact, right now here, let me introduce you uh, to one of our wonderful children. Jamie, come here, say hi. Jamie. This one is Jamie. Jamie um, came to us when she was very, very small, and she came from a dump site, uh, from one of the garbage dumps that we work. We call that Smoky Mountain. And when she came to us, we didn't know if she will survive. Uh, she was uh, severely malnourished. She had uh, tuberculosis and uh, pneumonia as well. And she was so malnourished that we were not sure if even the first couple of weeks in our place she would make it. But God really blessed that little girl, and she really, as you can see, recovered well, and she's been with us now for a year, and we really hope and pray that uh, she'll find some great uh, new parents that will be able to take, a, take care of her uh, as well. Say hi, Jamie. Say hi. <laughs> okay, let's just, uh, you guys play a little bit, okay? How about time I go around? Um, we'll just, okay, you go out. That's... Uh, next to it is our little office where we hang out. These are our office staff. Um, this is uh, Mercy. Mercy is my wife. Mercy, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and uh, uh, Joy, my secretary. And that's basically our command center in the house, trying to manage everything, uh, make sure that everything keeps on running smoothly and, and well. Um, second floor is the place where we have our children living. We have the kids' rooms uh, where the kids are sleeping. And... Uh, where we basically, you know, have most of the, the kids uh, uh, during the day. We have a 24-hour care for children. So children are with us uh, Monday to Sunday, 24 hours a day. And we have two shifts. We have a day shift and we have a night shift. And um, in that way, they get really a 24-hour permanent care with us. Um, right now, this is our little hallway. We have uh, Marisa, another volunteer that's been with us for a year. And uh, uh, Jamsi. Jamsi um, is a child that came to us um, actually because of a medical mission that we had. And he had a, a broken leg which grew together because the family had no money at all to provide for the child and to fix the broken leg. So his leg actually grew back together in a 90 degree angle um, backwards. So the leg went down and then went back 90 degrees and so when he came to us, we had it operated, 
and right now we got to learn again to walk, right, John C? It's not easy, but we're trying to, to do that. Now we have a little bit of school ongoing. They have to keep on, um, you know, getting their, their, their school stuff as well. We'll just look into some of the rooms. These are uh, the, the rooms of our little bit larger kids um, that stay here. And then we have uh, our, our baby, baby uh, rooms here. Oh, they're sleeping. Ah, at least two of them. Um, so they just, uh, we've removed the mattress because it's so hot right now. It's so hot summer that it's very uncomfortable to have a mattress. So they just prefer to sleep uh, without any mattress on it. So they have to sleep a little bit for an hour and then they can go down and play again. Okay. And then of course we have another, another room here, another room there. Um, and uh, this is basically where we prepare the milk, prepare things that we need uh, uh, to get ready for the kids, uh, you know, the, the, the feeding things and uh, basically the, the clothing things. Everyone has a little drawer for their personal things um, okay, let's just um, go down again and uh, I'll tell you a little bit of our new building project um, that we have ongoing right now to the um, other side, right next to our building. Just go out a minute. And uh, we, we try, um, because we're, we're not able to take more than 20 children into our facility because it's really just too small. Uh, for us. So we're trying to set up another um, uh, building just here to the left and um, we will be using the upper portion as a little clinic because we have many times children that come to us that are very sick and so we have a little um, clinic uh, and, and uh, a room for sick children that can be being treated and being taken care of if ever they need some more intensive care. Then we have some more playrooms especially for larger groups. We're trying to have some um, age brackets of the first group zero to let's say one year old for the babies that can you know play down here then from about a year maybe to two years we can use up and then uh, three years to five years we'll be using in the third floor and so we can have little groups separated and do some educational programs throughout the whole day and play with them and and give them more specific attention then down here we have uh, some more staff room we have uh, our medical, uh, little medical, um, oh, it's, it's, it's locked, we'll just, um, well, shall I open it? I don't know, no, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, there's a little medical room there, and then we have our, our uh, guest sleeping room for our teams. We have a lot of teams that come from different places, uh, Nehemiah, Germany, sending us teams, YWAM, different church groups. Um, many times those teams come and help us, so we're really glad to actually have them. And so that's basically the little facility where they hang out. And then um, we have our laundry, laundry place. Of course, you know, there's a lot of laundry you could imagine. Uh, the washing machine is never standing still, 24 hours a day almost, I feel. Uh, and so we have a little laundry area here where we, you know, keep our, our things cleaned up and... Uh, um, up and running um, and then of course as I mentioned upstairs is going to be the new rooms and we really hope and pray that we can finish it actually within just the next couple of months we're still a little bit short uh, of, 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 of cash to finish it but we're near near completion so we're still inside got to do some stuff but we hope that we can be able to really maybe by July August we could actually have it finished um, please pray for it and uh, you can also help support us in this as well. Uh, well, basically, that's kind of what we do here in House of Hope. And we're really thankful for the opportunities that we have to take kids in from the dump site, from Smoky Mountain, from our daycare that we have over there and allow people to have a permanent place where they can be loved, where they can be taken care of, where we can medically uh, care for them as well. And of course, then hope to find a new family for them, a place uh, where they can be loved and be cared for and, you know, give them really a future. And that's really our, our goal and our vision. We want to help uh, people to rebuild their lives. And uh, thank you for partnering with us to make this possible. God bless you.